Celebrities who clapped back at talk show hosts, Zendaya. I want to say to Zendaya. Dakota Johnson. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. Nicki Minaj. I'd say you it's sound fair. crazy. Nick, you can't if control not, with everybody. Sweetheart. Little Mix and Ariana Grande. Talk shows are fun. For avid fans and curious people alike, talk shows are a great way to get to know celebrities better and maybe learn a thing or two from them. But as entertaining as conversations about stars may be, we still gotta be careful with our words. We can't deny that sometimes, talk show hosts get out of line and say things that even the greatest entertainers would not be entertained with. Some celebrities would still stay proper after a rude comment, but some are not afraid to put up a fight and defend their honor. Here in this video, let's look back on some iconic moments when celebrities clap back at talk show hosts. Number 1. Zendaya During the 2015 Academy Awards, Zendaya wore her hair in dreadlocks pulled back into a half-up style. This fashion choice did not go well with the ex-anchor and host of E! News and Fashion Police, Juliana Rancic. The Italian-American reporter criticized Zendaya's hairstyle, saying it made the young actress look like she smelled of patchouli oil or weed. I love Zendaya's style and I love when she has the little hair, she just had it. I think this, she's such, she has such a tiny frame that this hair to me overwhelms her. Like I feel like she, she smells like patchouli oil. <laughs> <laughs> or weed. Yeah, maybe weed. It's legal in so many states. Wow. Yeah, it's so legal now. It's so legal. Uh, so that's what I think. It's just, yeah, this, this look isn't working. <laughs> okay. This remark deeply offended Zendaya, who went on Instagram to clap back at Rancic. In quotes she said, to say that an 18-year-old young woman with locks must smell of patchouli oil or weed is not only a large stereotype but outrageously offensive. I don't usually feel the need to respond to negative things but certain remarks cannot go unchecked. The backlash from Zendaya and millions of people on the internet reached Rancic, who then apologized on air. I want to say to Zendaya and anyone else out there that I have heard that I am so, so sincerely sorry. This really has been a learning experience for me. I've learned a lot today. And this incident has taught me to be a lot more aware of cliches and stereotypes, how much damage they can do. She said, I just want everyone to know that I didn't intend to hurt anybody, but I have learned it's not my intent that matters. It's the result. And the result is people are offended, including Zendaya, and that is not okay. Therefore, I want to say to Zendaya, and anyone else out there that I hurt, that I'm so sincerely sorry. Number 2, Dakota Johnson. Sometimes, it can get really awkward when we forget things. That moment when Dakota appeared on The Ellen Show was no exception. When the topic of the actress' 30th birthday party was brought up, Ellen grumbled about not being invited to the occasion. You turned 30. I did. And, um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. Things get a bit tense when Dakota claps back at Ellen, saying that she did, in fact, invite her to the party, and it was Ellen who did not respond to the invitation. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. Ellen denied this immediately, saying that she did not receive any invitation. She kept insisting on this until her own producer stepped in to tell her that she really did get invited. Was it? Oh yeah, I had that thing. Um. At that point, Ellen had no choice but to admit defeat and change the topic almost yeah. immediately. No, I think I do remember I was invited. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Number 3. Nicki Minaj when Nikki was invited on the Joe Budden podcast, things get heated fast when one of the podcast's former hosts, Rory Farrell, implied that addressing certain issues only makes the situation worse. Nikki did not appreciate this as she feels the need to defend herself when people spread rumors about her that aren't true. Quoted from her words in the podcast, she said, when I don't address, then what? People keep believing lies about me. You sound crazy. You can say that when it's not you. Unfortunately for Nikki, her words received backlash from people on the internet. Hashtag JoeButtonPodas started trending on Twitter, with tweets complaining about Nikki's behavior. Number 4 and 5, Little Mix and Ariana Grande. British broadcaster, Piers Morgan, had expressed his distaste towards Little Mix's cover art for the song, Strip. In the picture, the girls posed nude, with insulting words across their bodies. 
This was made with the intention to spread body positivity. Morgan commented about this on the show, Good Morning Britain. He said, if men do that they're arrested, if women do that, it's empowering. Very, very empowering. They're stripping off to sell albums. Stripping off to sell albums. Let's just call it what it is. It's not about feminist empowerment. It's about, let's all get naked. Everyone will run the pitches, we'll sell more records. That's it. That's it. In an interview with Little Mix, the topic of Morgan's comments was brought up. In response, band member Jesse called him a silly twat. The only person that was outraged was Piers Morgan today. Oh, do we want was. to give him anything? Do we just want no, to just like not even bother say his name? I'm just going to say, are you shocked by about him being outraged by something? No. Like, oh, oh, language, Jesse. Yes. You can't swear, Please. Jesse. Apologies. This upset Morgan, who then demanded that the group apologize to him directly. The group did no such thing. Instead, they included the clip of Morgan's demands in the intro to a song during the LM5 tour. Morgan's remark about Little Mix also led Ariana Grande's mom, Joan Grande, to call him out on Twitter saying, Honestly what is wrong with you at Piers Morgan? Didn't your mother ever teach you, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it? To which Morgan replied, I'd just prefer they use their talent to sell records rather than their nudity. As your own daughter does. Ariana, defending her mother, then tweeted in response, I use my talent and my sexuality all the time because I choose to. Women can be sexual and talented. Naked and dignified. It's our choice. And we will keep fighting till people understand. I say this with all due respect but thank you, next. What do you think of the moments we showed? Do you remember more celebrity moments like these? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos about the wonders of showbiz. Thank you for watching.